Hello everyone, my name is Tedious and welcome to episode 15 on my Zea Only Iron Man. Today we continue the grind towards 75 magic and we come across another big roadblock for the account progression. If you'd like, feel free to join the Zea Iron Man CC at any time, whether you're a Zea Only Iron Man yourself or just want to hang out with some of the rest of us. There's usually around 5 to 15 people online at all times, so hop in whenever you want. Let's get started with this week's progress. Well, there's the second curved bone on the account. I don't think I have a second long bone yet, but <laughs> there we go. 71 magic, beautiful. 44 prayer, can now use eagle eye. 64 hit points. Probably not the most conventional way of getting a farming level, but if I pick one more potato cactus, should give us 88 farming. Nice, nothing new from that level. Level 88 already. <laughs> Levels really come in very quickly with the farming guild and yeah, getting close to level 90. Do, do, do. Here we are again, let's get the bucket. Nope. Never lucky. 72 magic and 1675 total, nice. A 45 prayer, not bad, can now use Mystic Might, cool cool, oh damn, pretty much missed it, but yeah, 73 magic, 2 levels to go, not bad, unlocked and feeble, which I will probably never use, oh nice, looks like I got my second full totem now, I got the base in the bank, but I think they changed it so that I can start getting the new pieces again now, so should be able to don't have to bank to get the base um but yeah there we go that's the second full totem first one from hill giants it took a while i think it took a bit over 1100 kills in total two scotizo kills at the ready whenever i'm ready for it there's 46 prayer unlocking retribution Pew. oh damn i got really distracted right there watching a video because I got 74 magic, but I'm already 2% on the way to 75. But yeah, there we go. We started the last level for now. And then we can move on to some bigger and better things than killing hill giants. Just not gonna say anything anymore. Hey. 47 prayer. There it is. 75 magic obtained i can now cast fire wave which is the main thing we wanted let's go boys now i'm just gonna get the final rune crafting level in order to be able to craft soul runes and then i can use all of the unsold heads that i've banked so far from this magic grind which will get me to like i think 53 prayer maybe 54 we'll see yeah there we go 75 magic on to the next step Dr. Jekyll, long time no see buddy, here you are. Wait, is this a 10th one or do I still need one? I think this is number 9 actually, so we'll see when I go and do my farm run, but I'm pretty sure that's uh, the ninth one, so we just need one more now. Alright, let's see how many we have right now. Pretty sure it's 9, yeah, there we go. Just one more stamina potion before we can finally go ahead and make the stamina pool in our player round house. I also realized that when I'm doing farm runs, I can use the Battlefront teleport actually instead of using the Xerix Talisman. Um, and then that makes the farm run a lot quicker because I don't have to run as far. And considering I have some Lao runes from killing all of the giants, I might as well use them for the Battlefront teleport and do my farm runs that way. So just to show you guys the difference, normally I would use the Xerix Talisman and teleport to Shazian, which is around here. And then I would have to run all the way to the boat right here and then travel through the mulch area into the farming guild. But now with the battlefront teleport, when I teleport right there, I end up here and I'm pretty much next to the farming guild already. So much shorter run, much nicer to do my farming runs. Oh my God, guys, it actually happened. There's our 10th Dr. Jekyll random, which means our 10th stamina potion for nice 
Now I'll probably end up getting this last construction level so I don't have to boost, even though I can boost when I make a T in my kitchen. Um, but yeah, that way it's just easier and level 80 will look a lot nicer than level 79. So I might as well. Um, so I'll do that pretty soon as well and make the stamina pool in my house, which will be pretty cool. Let's see it in the bank. There we go. 10 stamina potions for. Awesome to get this out of the way. Now for the pools, I do still need some more limestone because I only have 3 limestone bricks and for the first pool I need 5 limestone bricks and also 1000 soul runes. So once I'm 90 rune crafting, I'll get those soul runes and then after that I'll probably do some more winter tot to get the 2 limestone bricks I still need. And then once I got the pool and once I made some soul runes and used up all of the giant heads I have in the bank, it's time for the next PVM challenge. Just killed another Aspori and I got a new personal best this time. 4 minutes 2 seconds, getting close to the sub 4 minute kills. Let's see what we get. <gasps> Boys! We got the bottomless compost bucket, let's go! That's so awesome. Nice. That's amazing. Like this pretty much doubles all of the compost we have at the moment and... It's much more convenient just having to carry around one bucket all the time. There we go. Really nice. Let's fill this baby up with all the compost we have stored. Let's see. I think I can pull out in banknotes and then use that on the bucket. Yes. 429. Yes. And there we go. You fill your bottomless compost bucket with 429 buckets of super compost. And now I have 850H uses. Whew! That's amazing. Nice. Nice little bucket of Gatorade right there. Another cheeky mining level coming in, level 68 right there. Alright everyone, let's get ready for another big milestone on the account. Boom. 90 rune crafting. Can now craft soul runes from Dark Essence, that's amazing. Now like I said before, I am going to craft at least 1000 soul runes for the pool in my player owned house and also some soul runes for the end soul giant heads I have in the bank so I'm probably gonna craft around 2000 in total which should last me for a little bit and then I can come back whenever I need some more. Alright here we go 1436 soul runes and I already had some in the bank uh, from a trip before so let's take a look and I think we have over 2000 now. Alright here we go bang these soul runes and we now have 2234 soul runes that'll be very nice i need 1000 of them to make the pool in my player owned house but all the others will be used for stuff like unsold heads so very shortly i'll be using up all of these heads that i have in the bank right now but first i'm gonna grind out some other thing which is 80 construction oh yeah actually i'm gonna do winter tot first because i still need limestone uh, I need 5 bricks I believe to make the pool, so I might as well go ahead and do winter tot first so that I have a few more locks for free that way and then I can finish off um, getting 80 construction on oak locks that I cut myself. So let's head back to winter tot for what should be the last time in a long time. Alright let's see, do we get lucky on the first inventory for the limestone bricks? Um, doesn't look like it. We got another spirit seat though. That's pretty cool. Oh man, where are the days where I would come in with 5 lobsters and go out with 8 to 10 crates. And now I go in with 10 lobsters and I only get <laughs> 2 to 3 crates. Big difference. And no limestone yet. Right, managed to get 4 crates this time around. Also got 109 mil fire making XP now, so... Getting close to 110 mil, even though I probably won't reach it right now, but yeah. Alright, another 4 crate inventory and we also hit 4600 kill count. Let's see if we can get some limestone. And the answer is no, unfortunately. So, I've been thinking this through for a little bit and I think I'm gonna change the way I'm farming right now. Um, as I've said before, I basically have this one palm tree right here where I'm just picking the coconuts every farm run 
um, with the goal of using these as payment for my magic trees. Now, I've been reconsidering this and I have so many tree seeds and so many fruit tree seeds that I think it's just a better idea to go ahead and plant one of these Iacer plants all the time because, you know, right now I have 8 Iacer seeds. I have pretty much infinite Hespori seeds if I keep up my farming contracts. And I think it's a better idea to just have these Iacer seeds planted at all times to reduce the chance of disease. And just plant the trees and fruit trees that I have currently without needing to have payment for all of them. Because I get so many seeds from contracts anyways and I will be continuously farming for Herblore training already. So I don't think that keeping the trees 100% alive isn't really necessary. So considering that I'm just gonna go ahead and keep replanting trees and fruit trees to just maximize the amount of seeds used and also get more farming XP that way. Because the only thing I can really get from these is um, a nice chance on the farming pad. Because other than that I'll get 99 farming over time anyways from farming herbs for Herblore. So I think I'm gonna do that, chop down this palm tree and plant a new one. And just start using the seeds that way. Don't think that's a bad idea. Just gonna start with some papayas. And I think I'll use papaya, palm and dragon fruit until I run out of all three of them. And then use pineapples in the meantime while getting more seeds um, during the farming contracts to get more of the higher tier seeds. So that's probably a decent idea, even though I'm not even sure if I'll ever run out because I get so many anyways. Oh, that's pretty cool. First time we got white lily seeds. I didn't even remember that you get these from Hespori, but that's that's pretty cool. Also got my new personal best, which beat the previous one by like 20 seconds, I think. So pretty good RNG on that kill. Nice. Oh, wrong seed. All right, guys, it's time again. We've got a fully grown papaya here, which will give us another farming level, level 89. <laughs> Getting close to another level 90 skill. Look at that, amazing. As you may have seen, I'm going very, very dry on this two limestone that I need. And I think I've gained close to 6 mil fire making XP right now. So I've spent over 20 hours doing Winter Tot again. And I kind of want to move on. So I've been thinking, I've got loads of Pyromancer pieces in the bank that I don't really need for anything. So I think I'm gonna try to exchange some of these Pyromancer sets and see if I can get some limestone from the crates I get. So let's go ahead and take out, let's say, four sets to begin with and see if we can get any limestone. And a fourth one. Now I'm not sure how many rolls I get from one of these crates when I exchange a full set. So let's see what we get. No limestone. 
No limestone. Still no limestone. Ah! Okay. Stay calm. Let's try again. <sighs> Please. <laughs> I just want to do stuff on my account. Please. Ah! <sighs> Come on. Let's go. Limestone. Limestone. Limestone is all we need. Fuck me, man. Fuck. <sighs> I'm gonna close my eyes. Did we get anything? Did we? Oh, fuck's sake. Well, the last five sets that I have. Well, plus the one I'm still wearing, of course. I'm gonna keep at least one set, but... Oh, please to God. <laughs> Just get... <laughs> Just give us some limestone, come on. My sweet, sweet collection of all the pyromancer pieces have been offered for this two limestone that I need. Is it really that much to ask for? Let's find out. Oh god. Oh god. No. <laughs> Please. Fuck. <sighs> I went to Twitter and I mentioned my dry streak on limestone. And apparently some people are telling me that my mining level might be too high to still receive limestone from Winterthot. And I think they might be right. Now... That pretty much changes everything. Because that would mean that I can never build the pool in my player owned house that I was planning to build. Which I spent probably, I don't know, like maybe a month carrying Torst all around for whenever I got a Dr. Jekyll random to get the 10 stamina potions I needed for the pool in my player, player owned house. And now I'm sitting here with just three limestone bricks left. When I need five. So I guess I just messed up using up all of the limestone whenever I had some during my big winter tot grind early on. And now I can never get them ever again. Wow. So I've sent a tweet to Mod Ash and Mod Ed um, just to ask them if they can maybe shed some light on the situation. Maybe they can let us know if there's a certain threshold to where you don't get any limestone anymore, like 0% chance to still get them. And I guess I'll just wait on their response to see if they let us know anything about it. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna use up all of the rewards that I did get from um, this winter tot grind. And then I'll just go ahead and continue the plans, I guess, without a player owned house pool to restore my energy. Which would be rather unfortunate. It's not something that's gonna stop us from doing anything at all. It's just gonna be something we miss out on for some very stupid reason. But oh well. Live and learn, I guess. So, one nice thing now when I'm training Herblore, I've got all of these secondaries just ready to go so I don't really have to worry about them at all and I can use up all of the herbs that I can right now um, just for the Heralanders I still have to buy some chocolate dust but that's no big deal also for the Torstals I can actually use Jenger berries to make Samurai brew so I think I'm gonna do that because super combat potions are 90 herblore and that's still a long way to go so I might as well use these with Jenger berries for some extra XP Okay, so Mod Ash actually responded to my tweet about the limestone from Winterthot. And apparently the chance to not get them anymore is at level 89 mining. And I'm still only level 68 mining, so I should still be able to get them. Um, but I'm gonna take a break from Winterthot because I've been grinding it for a while now and kinda wanna move on. So I'll get back to that later on. But first, I'm gonna use up all of the unsold heads that I have in the bank. I've got about 100 giant heads. And I made the soul runes er earlier, if you remember. So, I'm gonna use up these and it should get me some nice prayer levels.